Hello there, and welcome to part two of Quarantine Time with the Otaku Bandito Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. And yes, we are still living through uh, the coronavirus. But luckily, the good news is that uh, people are recovering from this virus and the recovery rates are high. Well, except for people who, who are at advanced stages. And you might be wondering, why are you playing this game on that TV instead of the uh, Sharp TV in the previous part? Well, I think the reason why the uh, camera shut off for no reason is because I think that the, uh, the frames on the CRT TV or the way the CRT is built somehow messes with the uh, camera lens and of course that causes it to shut off for no apparent reason so that's why I decided to hook it up to an LCD TV and I had this one since uh, 2008 or 2009 very long time yeah hopefully I'll get better results the LCD TV and uh, that meant I had to get the uh, iMac out of the way but don't worry, it's still there. My good old workhorse is still there. And it has an alien on board sticker on it. Yeah, I got it from a uh, gift shop at a museum that talks about conspiracy theories. Yeah, actual alien conspiracy theories, not like the, uh, the ones you see on ancient aliens. Alright, let's go. Let's move along. Alright, the game is loading. Yeah, it's always good to save your game. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, here's the intro. Tell me what you think. Do you think this looks better on the uh, Sharp TV or this uh, LCD TV? I've already seen we've already seen this intro on the first part. But still pretty good though. Yeah, it still has its original title intact. Yeah, the original title for this game is Kaido Battle, but they changed it to Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. They didn't bo but they didn't bother with changing the title in the intro sequence. They were probably on some sort of time constraint. Alright, so... We'll be back after this message. Hey, uh... 
Well, uh, here's the, uh, the progress on my LEGO City. I might consider getting a second table. Yeah, the, uh, the building that I'm currently building is the, uh, is a hospital. And you always gotta have a hospital during a pandemic. It is essential to have a hospital open during a pandemic. And, uh, it is also essential to get food and money during a pandemic. You might need some food. Everyone needs food. We all know that. And you might need some uh, money. Well, everyone needs money. Just in case you want to buy stuff off of Amazon. Alright, so, let's go back. Alright, we're back. Yeah, we got some uh, upgrades for the car. And we even got a uh, bolt-on turbo kit for it. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can conquer the uh, whatever you, uh, however you pronounce it. Don't need no shift assist, cause college boys learn to drive stick. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's try again. Oh, almost. We got second place. Right, there we go. We are gonna win this race. And this time, I have racing tires. Level two. Yes! Beat that. All right, so here's the update. I just uh, went up to uh, level 4, which is great, and of course, uh, got some more uh, money to buy some more upgrades, and we'll go on over to nighttime. Let's race against more rivals. Yeah, it's just some uh, bloke with a chainsaw. Sure glad it ain't the... Letterface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. It even uh, shows you the uh, list of rivals that you've already beaten. Oh. There's a team. Alright, so... Let's uh, go over to the boss and uh, just drive it around in a Honda Civic. Oh crap. We don't have enough money to face him. Uh, so, you know what that means, right? That means we're going to have to uh, advance a day. Alright, so we finally got the money we wanted. Now, let's race! Yeah, be glad that isn't Letterface. Yeah, once we beat those two, we'll end it right here. Aren't you glad I uh, upgraded my car? And that uh, carbon trunk lid that I bought sort of gives it 
the car more like a, a beater look. Like you would see like, you know, like you would have like a uh, different colored trunk or hood when you have a beater car. Because you're unable to find one that's the same color, you know. Well, we beat the, uh, the Micra. Now let's beat the guy in the Civic. Micro, the guy in the Micra is pretty easy. So, the guy in the Civic is probably going to be harder. Well, a little harder. Oh, there, it's a battle between the Civic versus the College Boys car. What happens? He uh, is far behind. Oh well. Let's end the uh, part two here. We won. So that all. So that's all that matters. In part three, we'll be visiting Hiroshima. Spoiler alert, by the way. So, see you later, alligator.